Hello guys and welcome to this new video. We're playing here the Qatar Grand Prix in the new game. So that means we're playing the new track in the new game. So it's getting exciting here. In Qatar, 32 degrees, it's normal, it's in the desert of course. And uh, then we're going to the track layout, two sectors. That means it's very special because it has a three but two sectors, one DRS zone at this circuit and 16 uh, turns make up this very beautiful circuit the most turns are high speed corners and then here to the grid we're playing as max step that means that um, we're starting at the back and hoping that we can finish first but it's getting crazy it's getting uh, fun it's getting exciting um, it's gonna be tough So I hope you liked this very cool intro. We're going with this strategy, the soft to the medium tires. We have of course the first the formation lap where we are right now. And then I see you guys when we're going to start this very, very cool Grand Prix of Qatar. I didn't mention it at, uh, in the intro, so I'm just going to do that right now. I have uh, played this two times before this track, and I can say it's a really, really fun track, so I know how to drive here, um, but sometimes I can uh, make a mistake as well, I'm a human. When we're approaching the grid here, I saw on YouTube a really, really good trick to um, have a good, clean start. Um, so, it's getting crazy here. Um, as you know, this isn't live. Um, it, it was a little bit of a... Some, some, it was something wrong. But here are the lights uh, on. And it's out. And as you, should, as you see, we have a really, really good start. The freeze here. Um, we're bumping into the freeze a little bit. Our fellow Dutchman, of course, and here on the inside of Sargent and maybe Hilkenberg, yes, as well. We have Piastri, a little bit wide, so we can go on the inside. It's a really, really good um, start. We're going here a little bit wide as well, so Piastri already passed us again. And now into the next turn here, you have to um, break a little bit here as well, but then. We're going a little wide as well here on the inside of Magnussen and Piastri and again we're ahead of those two uh, fellow humans. We're up into 15th place at the moment. Joe the Chinese driver for Alfa Romeo ahead of us. It's getting crazy. It's getting a really really good start for us um, here at the Qatar Grand Prix. So one of the Ferraris is leading and that's Charles Leclerc that uh, has taken first place. Checo start on pole isn't in first place anymore. 20 laps here to go from last to first here on the inside of Joe. And we're ahead of the Chinese driver and now into 14th place. The other uh, Asian driver ahead of us when we're going a little bit wide is Tsunoda of course uh, in the uh, Alpha Ta Tauri. Ahead of him is the Williams of Albon. Can we attack all the Alfa Tauri uh, driver here on the inside? Oh, and Albon as well. Here, yeah, and that means that we're up into 13th place. And uh, 13th place. I'm very sorry to Albon. This wasn't a really, really good uh, 
try technique of uh, me and this wasn't really good as well there a little bit not a little bit very right into that corner and now um, going to Lance Stroll the Canadian in the Aston Martin behind Bottas the Finn so we're um, in lap 3 behind Stroll of course as I said and uh, we're not close enough to make any uh, maneuver at the moment but we have DRS and we're going to um, to use the battery and what can we do then we could exit out of turn 16 and now we are on the inside of the Canadian what can the Canadian do we are going to break later but he's going to break really really late as well on the outside but we're squeezing him out that means that we're now at the 11 uh, at in the 11th place and now uh, the points and lap 4 are just in front of us in um, the hands at the moment of Valtteri Bottas the Finn of course as I mentioned um, earlier in this video we're really really close to him and just push him along or a little bit then uh, sometimes and maybe we can pass him um, at the at the straight we're going a little bit wide again here it's a really really difficult turn for me and you see how uh, high speed this track is here again high speed can we do it here we're gaining 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 on the car in front gaining on Bottas Bottas here the fin backs out of it and we're through that's not the place where you expect an overtake what we just overtook there someone and it's fall three Bottas we're inside the points at the moment 10th place the two Alpines ahead of us can we attack them as well here out of turn 16 32 uh, percent battery left we're gaining 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 but it's at the moment um, we can't do anything they have DRS as well of course and we're again really really um, confident on the brakes a little bit a little bit wide there as well and of course sector one is um, with uh, the the brake pedals as well but sector three sector two is a uh, lot more high speed and that's what i like at this uh, circuit here oh contact with gasly gasly little bit slow we haven't got any damage so that's really really great for us here we don't have to pit and now maybe we can go on the offensive here and now we're going for a move on gasly the frenchman in the LP and we're alongside he's on the outside of the corner we're on the inside confident on the brakes and we're um, in ninth place into turn one and now um, Norris in P8 ahead of us what can he do to defend from us at the moment we're a stopper ball and here into turn 16 out of turn 16 that means that we're going to lap 7 out of 20 here with the DRS on with ERS on that means the battery is almost um, at zero percent Norris here on the inside of Ocon we're on the inside of Ocon we're on the inside of Norris as well double overtaker going wide that means um, at, the, at the most uh, times that we have to give the place back but the FIA is uh, lovely at the moment but here uh, Norris again on the inside and he's passed also Ocon tries it as well but that's fails that attempt and that means that we have to uh, overtake the McLaren again when we have a little bit of a slippy moment here a little, little bit of a moment out of um, the first corner in sector 2 here a little bit wide it's uh, the 100th time that we were going wide there it's um, not really good that is a, a difficult uh, turn for me and uh, maybe we can go past Norris at the straight again that's my favorite overtaking point of course there is the DRS and then we're back here at the main straight here on the outside on the grass he pushes us um, and we're ahead now of Norris again confident on the brake don't uh, make any mistakes and now 
where four tanks ahead that means that we're uh, clear enough and that he can't overtake us again and now um, going to Alonso and Hamilton lap 8 P7 that's crazy Luis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso here battling up the road into the next few turns when there is okay. yellow and who is going to uh, struck down then what car is going to uh, struck down is Esteban Ocon the Alpine is down that means um, not that much points for the Alpines but no safety car no red flag just nothing when we're here uh, almost at the um, sec in sector 3 but that's not really really great for him I feel sorry for uh, Esteban Ocon the Frenchman that is uh, driving for a French uh, team box and pick and firm Max box pick and firm strap 12 in pit lane so we're going here to make a pit stop as the team says and Fernando Alonso, of course the Spaniard that is driving for Aston Martin this year um, going to make a pit stop as well I forgot to uh, uh, make it that uh, immersive so now it's broadcast what is the pit stop gonna be uh, a little bit of crazy uh, sounds 2.8 seconds we're unfortunately not ahead of uh, Fernando Alonso, but we're very, very close. 20 laps. Can this medium tires uh, do as this uh, stati statistic says? And as you see, we're here on the base straight as well. DRS on, ERS on, and that means that we're gaining, gaining, gaining on Alonso when we're ahead of Lewis Hamilton. He comes out of the pits. We're here on the outside of the Spaniard and ahead of the uh, Spanish driver for um, Aston Martin. And now into fifth place, and uh, Carlos Sainz on the medium set with Checo on the hard, um, um, on the hard tire, and he is pitted the, as well. So maybe we can get them. Maybe we can win this GP here in Qatar. Nine laps to go. Going purple and purple. When George Russell is now fastest and. We are now the fastest uh, one on track. 25-7. 7 Seven tenths gained on signs. That means that we're a lot faster than the Ferrari ahead of us. Can we get him in lap 13? Maybe lap 12 on the main straight. One well, that's our uh, main overtaking point of course. That's where the DRS is. As I mentioned a lot of times before. Turn 16 here, lap 14 out of 20, that means that we haven't got that many uh, laps left. Signs here, this is the closest, closest we have been to the Spaniard, here on the inside to turn 1. And we are just ahead um, into turn 1, we could go to that normal line and we did as you saw and now 1.7 seconds. Um, behind Checo, can we get him? Our tires not really, really great. They doesn't, they uh, feel not really, really great anymore. But we have to push on to win this race. I haven't said it, but I like this graphic so, this, this graphic so much. But we're going back to the race here. Signs, gaining, gaining, gaining the Ferrari on us. We're on the inside, he's on the outside, he's confident on the brake, race really really late, we squeeze him out and that means that we're um, at 5th place but it has cost a little bit of time here. Sainz thought he had us but uh, we squeezed him out as you saw and now we have to uh, break, uh, break uh, away from him so he can't uh, attack us again. We can't really get close to Paris. He's starting to uh, drive really, really fast, or we're, we're just really, really slow with this old medium tires. Signs 9 tenths um, behind us, so he can't do anything. But Paris is gaining on the car in front. He's almost in that DRS, or he is just in that. He is in that DRS. That means that he can attack Russell and he can attack uh, Leclerc to win here of course he started on pole and uh, 
we can go uh, to win this race with this uh, crazy strategy. What I thought that that never worked, but maybe he's going to win. Just peacefully Bruh. driving when this happens. Yes, that's not really great. So we have to uh, connect the steer ring wheel again. And then go again. And this uh, is it. Let 20 out of 20. We uh, didn't get close uh, enough to them. To uh, Russell, Perez and Leclerc. They are going through turn 60 at the moment. We are going through turn 60 at the moment. Signs melt really dangerous. We um, hold the P4. Um, uh, very easy. When Leclerc wins the race, we are P4 ahead of Signs. Not really okay, really uh, the result that I hoped I hoped um, a podium at least at last but uh, we are driver of today so uh, thank you guys uh, for watching and uh, we're now going to uh, the podium of course and then the results of the race yes they are very 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 happy at uh, Ferrari of course Leclerc he wins this race, the Monegasque, and it's uh, really, really good from him in his Ferrari. We before, as you saw. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit, familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you so think? yes, uh, this are the results, out, and really uh, uh, as you see, we sure uh, from P20 to P4, Nick De Vries, 19th, our fellow Dutchman. He's uh, not and really, we'll really great later. at the moment. Esteban Ocon, the only one who didn't make it. Khatam. Bye bye, Tata. Goodbye. Gaya.